So, Manchester City win the treble? And that begs the inevitable question. Was all this legal? Which treble winning team is better? Current Man City one or the classic Manchester United vintage of 98-99? Well, luckily, we can find out through FM23 and versus mode. Well, I've loaded in my Manchester United team from my recreating the treble series using the Mad Scientist 98-99 database, and I've pitched them against the current Manchester City squad. So this late 90s Man United side lining up in their classic 4-4-2 formation going for that counter-attack Schmeichel in goal we've got Irwin and the young Gary Neville in the full-back position Stam and Ronnie Johnson in that center back pairing we've got Keane and Scholes the dream team in the center of midfield Giggs and Beckham on the wings and Dwight York and Andy Cole up top so for Man City we've taken this tactic from our friends over at Passion 4 FM 3-2-4-1 replicating the way that Guardiola's got his Man City team lining up this season the links are in the description if you want to go and check out the post there's a really detailed tactical analysis and there's like three variations of the tactics that you can download and use in your game if you so wish so the way versus mode works in order to get this to happen to have my exported 98 99 treble winning team play the real manchester city team i've had to add two human managers so you don't see pep guardiola or sir alex here but what i'll do is i'm just going to let the game play out i'm not going to interfere i'll only make substitutions if there's a sending off or an injury or something like that and if anybody's got any question marks about realism in this well look at that Roy Keane is aggressive before a match against Man City actually Roy Keane against Erling Haaland now that's going to be a battle to keep an eye on considering the history of Roy Keane and Erling Haaland's father and let's get this match underway Man City kicking off so what do you think get your predictions down in the comments before this match gets too far oh and there we go Keane right in there on Haaland who do you think is going to win this battle of the treble winning teams the current Man City team or the Manchester United vintage of 98-99 here comes Andy Cole Beckham Beckham the first goal here I feel is going to be very important but Beckham plays it straight at Edison all right 10 minutes in now Manchester United I've started this game fairly brightly they're passing the ball around well in midfield Cole gets through he hits the post a save from Edison Edison tipped that one onto the post I thought that was offside but I guess Andy Cole is just in his prime so quick that he got in there first but we see in the stats there Man City dominating possession so far but Man United look to be having the better chances Dennis Irwin and it's oh it falls to Ryan Giggs right gigs with a tap into an empty net to give man united 99 the lead let's have a look at that one again it's a neville throw in with his long throw it's headed clear skulls knocks it down for Irwin. it's blocked by the defender in front of edison and it's just a lucky break for gigs all right united halfway through the half but they give the ball away foden plays in erling harland schmeichel with the save more than equal to it Man City get a corner from that. Let's see what they do from this. Bernardo Silva's going to whip this one in. And what happens here? Stones with the shot. He's hit the bar. Oh, my. It's all drama in this game, isn't it? The Brunia, it's not over yet. The chance hasn't finished. There we go. Man United 99 just about survived that one. But we're straight into another highlight. Okay, here we go. It's Man City looking to build something up with that patient play. Haaland with his back to goal. But... He loses the ball, and York now, is he going to supply this one to Cole? No. Ruben Diaz has the measure of him, and now there's a chance for a Man City counter-attack. Kevin De Bruyne, out to Bernardo Silva. Who's he got in the middle as Haaland made his way back up? De Bruyne with the equaliser. Fair play. Man City just starting to edge this game. That was a well-worked team goal, well taken. But let's see. Man United, we, we know this team. This vintage, if you were watching football in the 90s, you know about all the great comebacks they had, all the great wins that they plucked out of nothing, and Dwight York has just plucked a goal out of nothing. Well, this has been one hell of a half of football, and it's not over yet. There's still five minutes to go here. Erling Haaland, we haven't seen much of him so far, but Schmeichel is equal yet again. All right, United now looking to add another goal before the break. Giggs play. Oh, he's looking for Beckham. Couldn't find him, but Gary Neville is there to pick it up. Beckham now gets the cross in. Ryan Giggs with the header, but oof. Man United, I mean, they've been outplayed at points by Man City in this half, but they have had the better chances, 
and they've been more clinical in front of goal. So I say, yep, they just about deserve this lead that they have at the moment. But are they going to keep that lead going into the break? De Bruyne, he was looking for Haaland, but Schmeichel was well positioned to pick that ball up. Oh, Man City coming again. Foden looking for Haaland. Haaland with the equaliser. 2-2, right on the stroke of half-time. And it's not over yet. We're into stoppage time. We're going to get one more highlight here. De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva. I mean, Man City, they've got that momentum now with that equaliser. If they go 3-2 ahead before the break, that changes the complexion of the game completely. But here's Gary Neville. And it's come out to Beckham. Beckham looking to switch flanks. Keane flicks it on to Irwin. Okay, United going back to Stam. Okay, they, they've still got time. They've got 20 seconds in the half. If they can score now, they have a big advantage. Dwight York, what a goal. What a strike. But the referee, he's going to review that one. And he's given it. He's given it. United. <laughs> well, this team was famous for their late, late winners on 90 minutes. But in this particular simulation... They're getting a late goal at the end of the first half. Right, so looking at the stats there, I mean, Man City dominating possession. They had more shots overall, more shots on target. But look at the XG, 1.8 for Man City, 1.97 for Man United. So they've just edged it. Okay, you see the difference here, United, when they get those goal kicks and so on. They're just launching it long, whereas Man City are playing out from the back. But Dwight York, oh my lord, how did that not go in? Hits the underside of the crossbar, bounces favourably for Edison. But now De Bruyne, are Man City going to equalise here? These are two teams that seem to be very well matched in this game so far. Stones out to Bernardo Silva and De Bruyne does get the equaliser. Oh, but the referee's going to look at this one as well, just like he did with York's goal at the end of the first half. What's the decision going to be? It's been allowed. It's been allowed. We don't even get the bar graphic. They just gave it. So there you go. 3-3. Three, three. We have got one hell of a game on our hands here. All right, we're approaching the hour mark now. Giggs has the ball. He plays it back to Irwin. Keen. We haven't seen much of him. Oh, but now he's hit the post. We've seen something of him right there. Nearly putting Man United right back into the lead. Oh, but De Bruyne now with a free kick. He loves them from that kind of range of good effort. But no cigar this time. It's Schmeichel launching that goal kick forward once again. Jonsson picks the ball up here. Scholes finds York. No, he doesn't. Stones intercepted. And now Man City looking to build that play out from the back. Rodri, though, gives it away. Uncharacteristic for him. Giggs plays in. Andy Cole. Oh, he was just inches away from that one, wasn't he? But it's going gonna, it's gonna to go on. The highlight is continuing. Edison now launches one. Okay. So all that stuff I said about Man City playing out from the back, they just blew that out of the water. I mean, Man City now absolutely dominating in terms of shots, but still, United have that higher XG. 15 minutes left. Let's see how this plays out. Right, Stones has come out wide. Bernardo, Silva, Rodri, Gundogan, and it's come to Grealish, who plays in Haaland, and Haaland, finally, he gets his second goal. I suppose it's a measure of the player that Erling Haaland is that I said finally he got his second goal <laughs> in a match of this magnitude as the rain lashes down, fitting for two Manchester teams, we have to say. So Man United, can they make this 4-4 somehow? It's all on for the late comeback, isn't it? Beckham with a beautiful bit of control there. He plays in Andy Cole. Andy Cole, though, poor first touch. That lets him down. And now we've got a Man City break. Bernardo Silva plays in Haaland. Is it going to be 5-3 here? No, Schmeichel claims it. Okay, we're into stoppage time. And that's it. Man City win the treble versus treble cup. That was a fun match to watch, though. Exciting stuff. 4-3 scoreline. Two great all-time teams going head-to-head. -head. Did that match your prediction? Go back to the comments and let me know. And if you've enjoyed this kind of one-off video, a little bit something different on the channel, do let me know in the comments and hit that like button as well. That kind of feedback is always appreciated. Now, if you want to check out my main FC Voodoo save, check out this video here.